I brought this on, Clara. And all of this comes down to blackmail. Six-year-old girl dies because an old man wants to protect his secrets. And Bloom... They can spin all they want to the press, but their hands are bloody. I'm done with secrets. What's what this guy's problem? <gasps> got everything you wanted because I'm fucking tired. It's Clara. She's... Hey, forget her. You got enough to worry about. She's dead. Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. I'm on my way back. It's time to end all this. you don't mind, I'm grabbing some of your stock. Figure that makes us even. Yeah, sure, of course. Take what you want. Fixers will be breathing down my neck soon. <sighs> I 
I didn't even know Rose was dead. She should have just walked away. There's no evidence that Bloom arranged her death. Hell, Aiden. You don't know that they didn't. You know, I've seen a lot of things that don't add up. Bent city deals, voter rigging. All it takes is one good PR team to sweep that all away. After Rose died, they created that. Now, I don't know the hows and whys of it, but that code is dangerous. Something about... Well, I couldn't make much sense of it, but it was something about Bell or something. Bellwether? Hmm. That's what he wanted. You gotta burn that code, man. The rest of it, I don't care what you do with it. You know, Aiden, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about Clara. So am I. This whole thing is shit, no matter how you cut it. Careful, Aiden. When the lights go out, bad things tend to happen. footage has surfaced implicating Mayor Rushmore in the murder of a woman, Rose Washington. The woman was a former CTOS employee reported missing over a year ago. Mayor Rushmore has refused to comment, but a statement released by City Hall claims the footage is a fake, made by the hacker group DedSec in order to discredit the mayor. I'm in. Nice to have you back. I do like being beautiful. It really is a wonder of human ingenuity. A model system making a model city for model citizens. I wonder what Bloom said about potential hacks to the system. Sound debate, I'm sure. Hackers? Our CTOS is the most advanced blah 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 blah. Hubris, Aiden. It'll get you every time. But then you know that very well, don't you? decades, 
but no criminal charges were ever brought against him. Police say Quinn died of a heart attack after a charity. Shit. Can't get past the firewall. T-Bone might have an idea. He blocked us out. I need him disconnected fast. Well, shit. I got one idea, but last time I did it, people died. If we don't do it, people will die. What do you got? The whole network's tied to a satellite. Rums is kind of a safety valve to CTOS. I got a homemade virus. A real mean motherfucker. You gotta install it from three separate points. What does it do? It'll shut down your mask. That's for damn sure. This could get ugly. You don't know the half of it, amigo. Call me when they're installed. We'll get it done right. Smart city. I'm the 
advised, a patrol SUV has been dispatched as a suspect. Enjoy the show. Give us 30 seconds. For what? 30 seconds inside ZTOS. We drop in our code. Then, when the system reboots, DeadSec will control the machine from inside. We will correct what Boom has broken. 30 seconds is all we need. 30 seconds, no one knows? Our little secret? We will be the watchdogs. No. I'm tired of all the noise. We will not forget this. so damn stubborn. Quinn's dead. You got your sister back, and Clara? She stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who would think that, huh? But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Murloc job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. 
You're the only problem I see now, and I'm coming for you. first decided to pool our talents, the schemes we were planning. <laughs> we had so much drive, but never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city. Now I'm spending my final hours standing on the Widow's Walk. That's what they call the Lighthouse Lookout. The Widow's Walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Come on. Surprise, surprise. You got a speech, Damien? Anything you want to say? I know who I am now. That's it. That's all you got? Hey, fuck you. Look at you. You plowed over people to get to a mob boss. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game, but sometimes you still lose. Ah, oh, blah, blah. Jesus, you guys talk a lot. What are you doing here? Sorry, pal. New contract. Kick it over. What? Come on, kick it over. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. Up, 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 phone two. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix a little girl's death, but instead it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings, a broken city. And me, a changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. 
forward. Everything is connected, and I'll use that to expose, to protect, and if necessary, to punish. Once again, Mayor Rushmore is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Bloom Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. <laughs> where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities. Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? It isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience, a study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Dead sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. While a statement from the Commissioner's office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity, the vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. City officials are picking up the pieces from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. I'm bleeding here. You? I'm holding up. I got one last bone for you to chase. 
Marie finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but... I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed. Who deserves to die? Who decides that? some loose ends. <laughs> something to fear what the fuck what's wrong with you man huh you're fucked you get that we're both fucked fucking shoot me come on huh? make you sleep better at night kill the guy that killed your niece good for you you selfish fuck Yeah, I deserve it. But ain't gonna change anything. Nothing ever changes. Thanks to you, CTOS Network has had a successful year. With CTOS Chicago setting the standard, we're proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in the new year. CTOS, the future at the touch of a button.